Hello there Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do your full moon reading, which is going to happen the 24th of June. And this is a full moon in Capricorn, your own sign, which means it's going to be really, really um, special for you. And this is not just a normal moon, it is also a super moon. And um, I think it's the last moon of the year. Please don't quote me on it, I'm not sure. Um, so full moons are all about um, our manifestations being brought down into the earthly realm, grounded, happening, something tangible. Because this is Capricorn, Capricorn is Earth sign, so this is really going to be great for us. Also, this is a super moon, and this Capricorn is all about working very, very hard. And it's about, um, because this is the full moon, this is about the ending of a cycle. So, in other words, the harvest is coming in, which is absolutely great. Guys, the readings I've done for everybody else was amazing. Okay, so what cycle are you ending? Ooh, you don't have to adjust anymore, Aquarius. You're done, you're done adjusting. Adjustments are required. So this means that whatever you've been adjusting on, adjusting with, it's done now. You can now stop adjusting. You, you did it. Oh, wow. This is amazing. You know, I, I'm getting this image in my mind of getting something to be to be set to the to like a radio being tuned to exactly the right frequency so that there's absolutely no static and the channel is absolutely clear and and I'm getting this feeling of you are now done adjusting you are now on a clear frequency you can just go forwards and it will be great wow this is very cool Capricorn I like that what do you still need to work on to finally release just working through your fears because now oh gosh i'm sorry hold on a second sorry it was my neighbor's alarm anyway so whenever you get to this point of realizing okay hey i don't have to adjust anymore i'm i can go forwards now then you suddenly get to this point of ooh, what is this new thing going to bring you know it's that feeling of Am I ready to actually do this? It's that that little bit of fear. So this is the thing that you need to release to, or the thing you still need to work on to finally release. And that is really not very difficult at all. Sorry, I'm just now waiting for the alarm to go off again. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very distracted by this. Anyway, sounds like it's gonna be fine. Okay, so um, are you still on the right path for your intended manifestation? Oh, wow. Look at this, Capricorn. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. This is amazing. So, you know, I've been working with you for quite some time, shadow-wise. And in all of your shadow readings, the thing that came up most was the fact that you didn't want that special person in your life. You always thought you can do things better alone by yourself. And... As of late, this started to change very gradually, very slowly. And I feel that the last little bit of stuff that you needed to adjust there is with the super moon is going to be taken away from you. And that's freaking awesome, Capricorn, at last. Wow, well done. Your advice? Yeah. Don't go back to the past. The past didn't serve you very well. Don't let your past hold you back. This is the south node. This is all about karma and it's all about... Um, Having gone through the karma and having gone through the crap and the yucky times and the sad times and the looking to adjust whatever you can adjust to get to your new path. And this is now done. Spirit is telling you, you you've done this. You are done. You are done. Don't let whatever has happened to you in the past hold you back to, to get to your true purpose, your soul path, your um divine counterpart capricorn wow that's awesome right so i'm going to this month i'm going to draw you an extra card to see what the super moon is intensifying for you so what is this super moon intensifying for capricorn what is the super moon intensifying for capricorn i'm gonna take that one okay let's see capricorn 
Wow. Faith. So I think I might have explained this to you before. This is about Orpheus, about his wife dying. <clears throat> and he was so very sad about it. He wrote a song and he sent the song to the underworld and he went to speak to Hades and said, please, can I have my wife back? I'm so incredibly sad and I miss her. And remember, always look at these kinds of things um, for within yourself the divine masculine in you and the divine feminine in your in your own self um and this is the marriage between the two if, the two if if your divine feminine which is the part where you um where you find your intuitive guidance where you, the the divine part of you not the doing the masculine is the doing part now that if your divine feminine has died off which is basically what partially happened with you looking back at the readings I've done for you for the past few months is you've, you've listened to your intuition up to a point and the moment your intuition tells you to go towards your, your divine counterpart you're like no that's not my intuition <laughs> I've, I've always have had that little bit of a laugh at that not because I'm funny or anything it's just because we we tend to do that so easily where we get the guidance, but we don't necessarily like the guidance, so we decide to, decide to not, not take the guidance. And because of that, that's where your Divine Feminine dies off. And with Orpheus, he went to get his Divine Feminine in the shadows. He, he faced his shadows, he did his shadow work, but he didn't have faith in that. And Hades said to him, okay, you can have your wife back. The only time that's ever happened before is that someone can return from the shadows in back to, to the upper world. And he said to, to Orpheus, you can have your wife back and you can lead her out, but you have to have the faith that she will follow you. Because if you look back once, your wife will disappear and she'll never return again. And they started walking on their path, out of the shadows, back into the light. And just as he wanted to step over the threshold, he looked back to see if she is in fact still there he looked back he saw her she was there and she disappeared so my darling capricorns have faith that when you do this shadow work that your divine feminine will return to you have the faith don't push it out out don't push it away because it's not like you're going to look back and she's going to disappear forever. Don't worry about that. It's just a myth, the mythology around it. The thing is, the symbolism around this is Capricorn. Have the faith that your divine feminine will actually follow you back to the light. That you don't have to keep her stuck in the shadows any longer because she actually does know better than you do. <laughs> oh, maybe that's where the phrase comes where people always say women are better than men. Hmm. It's not really the case, but anyway. So the thing about this is, Capricorn, make sure that you have faith that your Divine Feminine will return. And this shadow work that you've been doing or trying to do is going to work easier if you stop looking back at your past. You stop trying to make sure, is my Feminine actually there? You don't have to. This is just happening and you just have to go with the flow and have faith. Have faith in the light because that's actually what this is about. Have faith in the light. Capricorn, I hope you thoroughly enjoy your Capricorn super full moon. And I'll see you on the flip side.